Hello everybody and welcome back to what I can only call me being objectively terrible at Hearts of Iron 4. Apparently we have low manpower. What is our free manpower? 3.51 million. I'm not sure I'd currently call that low manpower. But okay. Apparently we have low manpower. Good to know. If we start seeing that number dip too low, we can always go into limited conscription, which will almost double our full our full on manpower. So that'll be great. I don't think we really need to worry too much about that just yet. Now, I did go through off camera and replace all of these that I could with the Marine Division. We did run into a special forces cap, and so there are still some assault divisions here, but I got as many as we could. Now, they need a lot of supplies, and we have a lot of things that uh, need to continue to work for a while, so that's okay. But we will just get started on that, and yeah, our tactical bombers are uh, not being very produced. That is for sure. We are making a few submarines. Oh, one of our generals fell ill. That's unfortunate for him. But hey, we're going to be making about a little over 3,100 infantry equipment per day. That is not too bad. We can modify our government, and I think we probably should. Let's see, this would give us naval research speed. If we're going to get research speed, I would rather weapons and equipment research speed. There we go. Excellent. Now the Pratihar in front is basically over at this point. Pratiharis is going to fall. It's just a matter of time. And that should happen this episode, I think. With Pratiharis falling, that will, of course, mean... something. <laughs> that will, of course, mean something. I don't know what it will mean. Well, it will mean that our focus shifts over to Brazil, probably. Now, I was looking at this off-camera, and I was noting that naval invasions... They're a little bit grayed out. And I'm wondering, maybe... Ah, because we, can, we can't do it with an army group. We can only do it with a single army. So we should probably reorg these, then. And... Let's see. I want to select... All of the marine divisions, and I want to unassign those. And we'll assign those to a new army here. That'll get us our five army groups. And then I want to take one... Two, three, four, five, six, and assign them over here. Okay. Fantastic. So that gets us our army group there. And this army is comprised entirely of marines. They're the ones that we're going to hope to establish a beachhead with, and then the others can fill in after, is the idea. We will need to fill this out a little bit. In fact, we may want to just combine these armies. That may not be the worst idea. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be for the best. Okay, so these guys, their naval invasion, and we're going to need to support this naval invasion, but their naval invasion will come from Banjul here, and they will land, I think... Do we want to land right by their capital? Or do we want to land a little ways away and hope that they are a little less prepared for that? Like, say, landing in Rio de Janeiro. Now, we would have to fight our way through quite a lot of terrain to do that. Maybe we are better, best off landing here. Maybe. Okay, so if we look at... What is this bar here? Yeah, I know we have no commander there. And we do want to assign this guy in there. Hang on. 25? How did that happen? I guess I'm dumb. Okay, there we go. So they're going to make their way over there very, very slowly. Everyone else in this army group will not quite make their way there. Just a little, a little bit up here, I guess. And they're going to follow up. Now we're going to have to have our submarines defending this. Our submarines are currently actually moving, which is nice. 
I'm very happy to see that. We can see that there are ongoing combats over here. It's America that's doing it, though. That's fine. And yeah, overall we can see we have some submarines over here, currently. So that is great. Boats for killing... well, actually, kind of unboats for killing boats. U-boats, if you will. <laughs> that was a dumb joke. Okay. We'll grab that. We are currently lacking a lot of rubber. Okay. I'm a little surprised that we're lacking that much rubber. But we'll do something like that. That's still lacking rubber, actually. Wow. Now we're not lacking rubber. Okay. We probably want to see if we can work on any extraction tech. Now we could grab this construction tech. That could help offset those extra civilian factories being utilized instead of constructing. We do have a lot of military factories still being built, so that's that's fine. And I think we're short on rubber again, aren't we? Yes, we are! Okay. Well, we'll get another unit of rubber. We definitely need some of that. Can we develop any rubber? That is a negative. Okay. Noted. Okay, so we were defeated in that naval battle. That's fine. All we want to do is contest. And kind of play the attrition game. I'm going to convert over, I think, two more of these convoy lines over to submarines. Something like that. And that does mean that we're going to need additional an additional submarine line here. There we go. Excellent. I feel like we've got plenty of convoys. <laughs> I really, really do. So we're going to need some submarines over in this region supporting this naval invasion, for sure. But we're slowly making our way over there. As far as Pratiharis, uh, they're kind of holding out, but we're pushing in over here with the help of Free India, who is claiming a lot of the territory for themselves. I'm not too fussed about that. They are part of our alliance, and they were previously our vassal, so... I don't really care too much about Free India. Although we'll probably... No, pr not Prati Haris. Free India over here. We'll probably see if... We can convince them to become communist or something. Let's see. I forget how you do that. We'd probably need to improve relations, anyway. We'll work on that. Okay, so Prati Harris will fall soon enough, but we are, of course, turning our attention over towards Brazil. Prati Harris is no longer particularly threatening. We'll grab this anti-tank upgrade, I guess. Although we aren't... Are we... Are we currently making any... Oh, it is a toad anti-air. Yeah. It's the Toad anti-tank that we aren't making. I mean, if there's one thing I know, it's that anti-air, anti-tank, same thing, really. Just ask the Germans. They were very successful at that. Okay, we're winning these battles over here. Pratiharis is definitely collapsing. They're giving it a good fight. We need additional rubber. Okay. We require all the rubber. Down to two rubber again. We may as well, actually, bump that up to 15. Keep that going for a while. That'll continue to tick down as we continue to finish up military factories. The reason, of course, that our rubber requirements are going up is because we are currently working on making fighters and tactical... And tactical... Wow, words. Tactical bombers after that. I don't think, however, that we need, currently, any more than 100 military factories on fighters, and I'd like to get some work done on bombers. So that'll be fine. Now, let's take a look at what we've got going on n for naval situations here. 
We currently have the Ethiopia Reserve Fleet 1 and 4, and both of these... Let's see, that's a strike force, and this is just a reserve fleet. Okay, so I want to reposition this reserve fleet. I also want to change its number of submarines, if I can remember how to do that. Oh yeah, like that. Let's actually change this to like 50 submarines. And then I want to dock them out of this naval base. So come on over to Guinea. Excellent. Netherlands wants to send two divisions as expeditionary forces. Okay, that's adorable. Absolutely adorable. And I guess they can be assigned to... Here. Sounds good. These guys are slowly making their way over. Very slowly. And the naval invasion will eventually get launched. But not quite yet. We are moving our submarines over here. And we want to do naval invasion support. Shore bombardment is probably not a thing that submarines are particularly good at. But escorting? I think they could be okay at that. So off we go. Excellent. All of them are currently active in that region. Fantastic. Now we may also want to have some of our shipyards set up to naval repair. Let's see. Click to toggle list of ship queue. Oh, I see. These are the ones that are currently dedicated to repair. Maybe. <laughs> I think that's how that works. At any rate, our naval supremacy here is currently 7.13%. or 7.3%. Our air superiority would increase our ship amount impact, so we should probably consider getting some air superiority over here. We do have an air base. We could simply put in a fighter wing and have this be all 200 that this base can support, and we could have them work on air superiority over here. There we go. Spend and maintain. Yeah, I want the efficiency boost over here for sure. That will be fine. So this fighter wing will uh, slowly, slowly improve. Naval supremacy is up to 11% here. Friendly supremacy is at 1584 compared to enemy supremacy at 12746. Now, we do expect that to be the case, right? This reserve fleet is pretty weak right now. Let's see, this is the Ethiopia first reserve fleet. Fleet 2 is currently active in multiple regions. These are... Both Reserve Fleet 4. Okay. <laughs> That's exciting. Sounds good. Well, we definitely have a lot of submarines that we need to get out there. So, we are working on those. We will have a number of them completed in July. It is July. So, that's convenient. These submarines will finish up relatively quickly. Our naval supremacy here is increasing. So, that is great. There's naval combat in the Western Mediterranean. Eh, this isn't a surprise. And yeah, we are just going to attempt to use our shipyard numbers to squash Brazil with just ludicrous numbers of submarines, because submarines are great boat killers, and we don't like boats. Our intelligence agency is not really doing anything, is it? Did we crack Brazil's cryptography yet? No, we did not. Okay, we have no intel network over here. Our two operatives are currently defending against subversive attacks, but I'd kind of like this one to build an intel network out over here. Excellent. That should be good. 
I also want to work on an upgrade here, and I think passive defense will be okay. Hey, look, we are lacking steel, actually. We'll import some steel from Ming, I guess. As much as they're willing to give us. And some from Zhenzhou as well. And some from Newfoundland, although they're not currently getting to us. And some from Free India. Yeah, we're definitely lacking steel. With that being noted, this is iron mines, but uh, yeah, we can expand these steel mills. That'll help. Okay, let's grab improved computing machine, 100%. Fantastic. We're short on rubber and steel. We can continue to grab more rubber from Malaya, though. So that'll be fine. This Pratiharan front is still ongoing. But there's absolutely no way they can hold this. They simply can't hold it. So that'll be fine. Now, these armies over here, they're not particularly organized. I'd kind of like to get them into a bit of a unified front. I don't think they can be compressed into five armies, though. Although maybe they could if we shifted some troops around. It's an interesting concept, not currently a pressing one, I think. I also think that we may want to put additional airplanes over here. Like so, and then we will bump this up to its cap of 200, and we will set them to also performing air superiority out here. There we go. We're up to 21 23 submarines in the 4th Reserve Fleet now. That's great. We're up to... Let's see, we need to be in naval map mode here. 17.6% naval superiority. Or naval supremacy, rather. That's great. We're making good progress on that. If we can control Cape Verde, then this is going to be absolutely great. So that is absolutely fine. We do want to move probably the second reserve fleet. We want to move them over here. We're going to put the, them into this fleet. And we're going to set them to... Let's see. Does patrol give superiority? It should. We're going to set them to patrolling over here. And then these guys should still be set... They're set to nothing. Or no, they're set to naval invasion support. That's correct. Okay. So the... Let's see. The second reserve fleet here. I want to open the task force editor. And we want to bump this one up to 50 as well. Excellent. Now, more submarines. Submarine tech is something that we're probably interested in. Where are... Here's submarines. We can grab the 1940 submarine hull. Okay. We'll research that. Excellent. Okay, so how are we doing on naval supremacy over here? We're making some progress. That's great. We'll grab equip equipment effort. And I keep pausing the game for no reason. <laughs> Let's check in on Pratiharis. Oh, there's our Marines 2 finishing up. That's nice. Um, we could grab support weapons for, I suppose. Or, we could grab Mechanize 2. And that's what we're going to do. Wonderful. We are currently a little bit short on rubber. However, we are quite unshort on steel. Okay, let's bump up our order of rubber slightly. And let's go to steel, and let's cut our order from Ming and Zhenzhou. We can actually cut all of these, I think. 
I don't think that added up to 64. I didn't check. No, it did not. Great. Okay, our military factories are ongoing. And then there's all that, of course. <laughs> Sounds good. So we're just pushing into these mountains at this point. Now, we don't have mountaineers over there, but honestly, it's fine. So how are we doing on this war anyway? Yeah, losses are mounting, but that is still completely fine. I do think that we may want to cut down on our recruitment after this army comes through. Or maybe now, actually. Let's see, that's, en that's enter, yes. Let's cut this down to... Four divisions... And two divisions. Okay. Suriname just declared war on Free India. I, I don't think that's a threat. I'm pretty sure that's not a threat. They joined the Alliance of Ojibwa. Okay. Deal with that later on. Our submarines here are up to 27 ships. And our other submarines... I have no idea where they are. <laughs> We have more submarines on the way over. Okay, we have a task force attacking their three task forces. So we see that there are currently 19 submarine wolf or 19 subs in the wolf pack. They'll attempt to finish off fleeing ships with its torpedo while remaining hidden. A lack of dedicated anti-submarine vessels amongst the enemy will allow the submarines to slip away undetected. That's exactly what we're looking to do. We just want to do a bunch of damage to them, without being detected, if at all possible. Passive defense is finished up. Oh, Free India wants us to wants our help against the Alliance of Ojibwa. We accept. We do need additional resources. That's not surprising. How are we doing on expanding our steel mills? We're doing okay on that. We'll build a steel mill over here as well. Wonderful. We do have decisions available. Yeah, we are working on those. How's our naval supremacy looking over here? 18.8. It keeps coming up. Fantastic. Where did that battle go? Okay. They're currently being located. And now there's an ongoing combat. Wonderful. So these guys are, I think, attempting to flee. Yes, indeed. These guys are currently disengaged. But, I mean, this is completely fine. I'm not concerned. All we're trying to do is harry them right now. Get that naval supremacy up. If we can control this region, then that will be fantastic. We no longer get the effects from internationalism. That's okay. I'm not concerned about that. Anti-tank upgrade has finished up. That was, of course, this guy. Now, I'd love to get improved anti-air. I think that's going to be... And, and this artillery upgrade. Both of those are going to be great. We'll get started on those. Excellent. I'm a little bit surprised, honestly, that Pratiharis hasn't capitulated yet. I mean, they're holding up in the mountains, which, fair enough. Oh, and actually, you know what? Oh, we are attacking. I was just thinking, we don't have much of an offensive line here. We should probably set one up. And we will set it up just like that. Get in there, buddy. Aggressively. Excellent. Okay, so in we go. We are seeing that Brazil is kind of in the naval supremacy situation. They are definitely ahead of us on that front. But I think we're doing quite well over here. We're up to 22% and we're still piling submarines in. So I'm pretty happy about that. We are 
not producing any here. Yeah, this is where most of our steel is going, by the way. All these submarines that we're making. And our lack of steel is currently delaying our submarine production. We should probably work on expanding additional steelworks. Now, these iron mines appear to be producing steel. So I'm okay with that. We've got quite a bit of options for expanding our steel our steel reserves. And we're also going to be able to grab the uh, technology over here. Yeah, excavation four. So that'll be great. We're not ready for that just yet, though. How goes our intelligence network over here? Okay, we're at 20%. We don't know too much about what's going on in Brazil just yet, but if we take a look here, we can see that they've got 200 to 211 convoys. We can see that they currently have 83 military factories. That's adorable. And 25 dockyards. So that's the strategy that we're going with, by the way, with the with the navies. We're just cranking out way more submarines than they can hope to deal with. Even if they produce a billion destroyers. They only have 25 dockyards. We can outproduce them, is the idea. At any rate, it is time for a cut in here. And next episode, we are going to be preparing for our invasion into Brazil. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.